Hello everyone, welcome to Tutorials Point. In this video, we will be discussing about the different modifications a leaf can undergo in order to perform some different functions. So the first modification we are going to discuss is known as the sleeve tendrils. Tendrils are nothing but spring-like structures. So these are thread-like green structures as you can see over here. They, uh, they acquire the structure like that of a spring. And these type of leaves are very sensitive to touch. Once they touch any support, they start coiling around that support. These type of plants, they are mostly, they are having the weak stems. So since the stem is weak and it cannot support its own structure, they require the help of these tendrils which help in climbing. Otherwise, these trees or uh, these type of plants, since they have weak stem, they will be lying on the ground and they cannot have proper sunlight because they will be coming under shade of the long or the larger plants. So hence these type of tendrils are very important in climbing up uh, with the help of a support. So they are capable of coiling around a support. These are the leaf tendrils. The next type is known as the leaf spines. So what are these? These leaves are modified into spines. What are spines? The spines, they are hard needle-like structures. So these spines, they protect from the grazing animals. So here you can see, so if they have spines, these are very pricking type of structures. So hence grazing animals, they cannot feed themselves on these type of spines or plants having these type of spines. A very important uh, function of these spines is to reduce transpiration, that is water losses. These type of modification is mostly seen in case of plants which are found in xerophytic type of environment where there is lack of water, very dry type of climates. So if there is leaves, there will be loss of water due to transpiration. But these leaves, if they are transformed into spines, so they would not have stomata for transpiration and they can check their water loss. Hence, this is very important the modification in case of xerophytic plants, for example, opuntia. The next type of modification a leaf can undergo is storage of food. Very common example is onion. So here food is stored in the leaves. So you can see these are the scaled leaves where food is stored. Here the leaves become fleshy, they become juicy due to the storage of water, due to the storage of mucilage and also the food materials. The next type of modification of a leaf can be called as a file load. This is an interesting type because here the petiole of the leaf, what is petiole? It is the stalk of the leaf which helps in holding the leaf and attaching it to the surface of the stem. So this petiole of the leaf, they get flattened and they are green in color. Since they are green in color, they actually have the chlorophyll because of which it is green in color. Since they have chlorophyll, they can photosynthesize and make food. So these are the leaves or the, or the petiole of the leaf which can photosynthesize and they are green in color. For example, Australian acacia. The next type of modification is known as the leaf bladder. These type of modifications are mostly found in case of the insectivorous plants. So what are insectivorous plants? These are the plants which feed themselves on insects. They can eat insects, right? So these are insectivorous plants, uh, modifications are found. Here the leaves of some insectivorous plants, they get modified into bladder-like structure. As you can see over here, it's mostly like a container or a bladder-like structure. They have got a lid as you can uh, see over here. So this is the bladder structure, this is the lid and very interestingly they have got mechanisms to catch insects. What happens whenever an insect comes and sits on the surface of this bladder, it can sense, it is very sensitive and the lid gets covered. Once the lid gets covered, digestive enzymes are secreted within the surface of this uh, bladder, inside the surface of the bladder and they can digest the insects. So they are insectivorous plants. A very common example is known as the bladder wart. So in this video, we have talked about the different modifications of the leaves. What are the different modifications we have discussed? Leaf bladder, we have talked about the file load. We have also discussed about the storage of food inside the leaves. We have talked about the leaf spines and also we have talked about the leaf tendrils. I hope you have understood and liked this video. Thank you.